now we're looking at velocity time graphs. Now, velocity is on the y-axis in units of metres per second, and the x-axis is time in units of seconds. Now, if we have a flat graph, we have a constant velocity. Okay? If we have a flat graph, we have a constant velocity. If we have a constantly sloping graph, we have a constant acceleration. The slope of a velocity time graph is the acceleration. The area under a velocity time graph is the distance travelled. So look here. Suppose we have a velocity of 5 metres per second, and we maintain that velocity for 10 seconds. So we have 5 metres per second, a constant velocity, for 10 seconds. That's 5 metres per second times 10 seconds equals 50 metres. So the area under this graph is 50 metres of distance. Now, if we have a velocity that starts at u and then increases at a constant rate, we will have a constant velocity portion of the motion, which is as if the motion had continued on at u, and we also have this triangle here, which is the extra distance travelled due to the acceleration. And we find the area of this triangle using the formula that the area of the triangle is half base times height. So once again, the slope of a velocity time graph is the acceleration, and if that's flat, that means we have no acceleration and a constant velocity, and the area under a velocity time graph is the distance travelled.